Welcome back to another Linux overview here on Linux Hub. Today we'll be taking a look at a system called Refresh OS 1.23. This is an Ubuntu based system that comes with the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So let's run through the installer and get it installed so that we can take a look at Refresh OS 1.23. And the installer is opened up. So here we'll be taking a look at a uh, keyboard location, language settings, location settings, uh, install users, and set up our disks and anything else that involves installing the system. So let's go ahead and run through this installer real quick and get it done. And usually this is between the five and 10 minute process. All right, seems like the installation is now completed. So we're gonna go ahead and restart the system and take a look at Refresh OS 1.23. And we are now rebooted. So uh, one of the first things we have to do is uh, fix our display manager. So let me go ahead and open up our applications menu and uh, open up the system settings so I can get to the display manager. And I'll set this to 1080p. Okay, now we're set up on a 1080p uh, screen, so uh, we can go ahead and go through the system. Uh, so this is an uh, Ubuntu-based uh, Linux system that comes with the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So we have a KDE Plasma panel, and in the panel we have our system tray on the right, and pinned applications on the left, along with an application launcher. So, as we always do here, let's take a look at our system tray. And first on the system tray is a um, a button to minimize all windows. So if you had like a web browser open up or GIMP or Office or whatever, and if you wanted to clear the desktop, you just click on this button and all your programs will be minimized. And next to that, we have a date and time and clicking on it opens up a calendar. And next to that, we have a drop down menu that shows hidden icons. And here you have uh, just background uh, things like power management, disk and devices, and vaults, you know, KDE Connect, things like that. And then next to that, we have our in networks, which shows our internet connections. So if you had a Wi Fi adapter installed, all your Wi Fi connections will show up here. And next to that, we have a volume. Here, you can change the volume of your uh, system. Have a line in. If you had a microphone plugged in, it would have the microphone volume. And if you had uh, any audio applications, you'll be able to mess with the settings here. And next to that, we have a clipboard manager and a system update manager, a language, and a notification panel, along with your desktops here. So. Right here, we're on desktop one, and new desktop will create a new desktop that you can work on, or desktop or workspace, depending on what you want to call it. And that's your system tray. Now let's move along to our pinned items. And on our pinned items, we have uh, Discover, which is our software manager. Let's take a look at that. And if you want to install software, you can do a search right here. For example, let's look for GIMP. Click enter and it will show you. Of course, we already have it installed, but uh, that's how the search will work. You just find whatever you want to install, click on it, click on install, and get it done. And on the about here, you see that it's discover 5.24.7 and application explorer. You can also install software with the terminal using the app manager, but uh, this is just a the guide way of doing it. And this is Discover. 
And next to that, we have our file manager, which is Nemo. That's interesting because Nemo is the file manager for the Cinnamon desktop. I mean, I like it. I prefer it to all the other file managers. So this is a win for me. And let's take a look at the about, and we can see that we're running 5.2.4 of Nemo. Nemo lets you organize files and folders both on your computer and online. All right, and the final pin item is going to be uh, Chromium, which is our web browser. It's basically uh, a Chrome-based browser, Chromium. And if we take a look at the about, it'll tell us what version it is, which is 111.0.5563. And this is Chromium, your web browser. All right, moving along next to that, this other button right here is not an application. This is actually your application menu. So if you click on it, it'll open up all your uh, applications. And it also has a construct right here, which is your folder layout. So you have home, documents, music, pictures, videos. Basically, it'll open up the file manager to each uh, section here. But also along with that, you have your system settings here. And let's take a look at our system settings. So system settings for KDE Plasma is basically where you can control the entire system here. So you can change appearance, workspaces, accessibility, applications, backups, input devices, display, pretty much everything on your entire system you can control right here for the KDE system settings. All right, and our applications are right here on, our, on the left side of the uh, menu. You can see it's pretty straightforward. It shows you what all is installed. So uh, right here we have GIMP. Let's take a look at GIMP. GIMP being our photo editor on Linux. It's the preferred photo editor. I mean, there's others, but everyone pretty much uses GIMP. And on the above, we see that we're running GIMP 2.10.30. All right. And moving along, let's see what else we have right here. We have uh, a music player. Eliza, Elisa, not sure, not sure how it's uh, pronounced, but it's one of those, Eliza or Elisa. And let's see what uh, version we're running here. It's uh, version 21.12.3. A simple music player made with love by the KDE community. All right, so we saw a photo editor, we saw a music player. Now let's take a look at our meter player. So the media player, this right here, will pretty much play videos and audio and uh, stream links themselves. So you can open directories, network streams, capture devices. You can pretty much open any video stream. But on the about, let's see what version we're running. 3.0.16, veterinary. And this is VLC. All right, let's see a terminal. We have the uh, LX terminal. So again, we, they're mixing a lot of software from other desktops into uh, KDE Plasma. So this is actually LX terminal 0.4.0 terminal emulator for the LXDE project. And we've seen web browsers, we've seen terminals. Let's take a look at our text editor. So this is just a plain text editor. Plume, Plume is actually from the Mate. This is from the Mate desktop. So yeah, they got a lot of mention match, but hey, it all works. Pluma 1.26.0. Pluma is a small and lightweight text editor for the Mate desktop environment. All right, pretty cool system. I guess we can take a look at some uh, appearance settings now. Let's take a look at Demon, see what we can do with Demon. So we'll just go ahead and uh, put this on the side, open up a file manager, put it right next to it, and click on Appearance. And as you can see right now, Kubuntu is selected. So this is the, the theme that it's currently on. But let's say we want to use a Breeze, click on Apply, and then we'll change it to Breeze. And then we have Breeze Dark. Click on Apply. All right. Being that it's, it's, we're doing it in a virtual machine, it's KDE 
it is uh, having some artifacts in there, but nothing to be too worried about. Now, let's see, Breeze Twilight. That's Breeze Twilight. And Kabuntu is what it was on originally. Well, I like Breeze Dark, so let's go. Let's go with that one and just stick with it. All right, that's Breeze Dark. And if you wanted to change other aspects of your uh, appearance, you can go to application style, plasma style, colors, window decorations, fonts, cursor. So there's a million things you can do here on uh, KDE Plasma. But that's pretty much our theming in a nutshell. Now let's take a look at our wallpapers. So just right click it on the screen. You can get your uh, wallpaper thing up and then bam, we can just run through it real quick. So you can see they have quite a few wallpapers here and it's a two step. You click the picture you want, then click on apply and it'll set it for you. And also if you wanted to get a different set of wallpapers, you can always download wallpapers from, uh, from the internet and set them up yourself. All right, so this is your wallpaper setting. So this was a short video here. Just wanted to show you a quick look at a uh, refresh OS 1.23. Uh, if it's something that you think you want to look into, I'll have the uh, homepage and download link in the video description. All right, that's going to do it for me, and I'm out.